the tallest players in the NBA as of right now. Who are they? Let's find out. Welcome Hoops High family. You're going to love today's video. But first, if you're new to this channel and haven't subscribed yet, please do so. In today's video, let's look at the tallest players in the NBA as of right now for this 2023-2024 season. But first, we wanted to remind you that we will be giving away a $100 gift card to the NBA.com store once we hit 500 subscribers here on YouTube. All you need to do to enter is watch, like, and comment on each video we have. It's that simple. Also, please make sure you're subscribed and have the notifications turned on so you don't miss any of the videos we release every week. Please be sure to join us for tomorrow's video as well as we look at the top five heaviest players in the NBA as of right now. You won't want to miss that. Now let's dive into today's video. The NBA has always been a league filled with amazing talent, athleticism, and larger-than-life personalities. Among the myriad of skilled players, some stand out not just for their skills on the court, but also for their towering heights. In today's video, we'll take a closer look at the tallest players currently making their mark in the NBA. At number five on our list, Rudy Gobert from the Minnesota Timberwolves, standing at seven feet, one inch tall. Gobert is an 11 year veteran, spending his first nine seasons with the Utah Jazz. He became a force to be reckoned with on the defensive end of the floor, winning three Defensive Player of the Year awards with three all-star appearances, four all-NBA team selections, and six all-defensive team selections. This year, Gobert is with the Minnesota Timberwolves, who are as of right now in first place in the Western Conference, which is amazing knowing how deep the West is. There was a reason that Minnesota traded for him last offseason, and if he keeps playing well, Minnesota could be a very tough opponent for any team they face come playoff time. If you think Minnesota has a chance to make a deep run in the playoffs this year, go ahead and smash that like button. At number four on our list, Kristaps Porzingis from the Boston Celtics, standing at seven feet and two inches tall. For the majority of his career, Kristaps Porzingis has been referred to as the unicorn thanks to his tall frame and the ability to play the game like a small forward or a guard. He has very accurate shooting from three, but also can dominate the paint with rebounds, blocked shots, and low post scoring. Injuries over the last few years have been a main concern for Porzingis, but in the last two seasons, he has stayed relevantly healthy. This past summer, Porzingis was part of a sign and trade that sent him to the Boston Celtics while shipping Marcus Smart to the Memphis Grizzlies. So far this season, Porzingis has answered the call with his new team in Boston. The Celtics have taken over as an overwhelming favorite in the Eastern Conference, and if Porzingis remains healthy for most of the season once again, I do not know how he cannot be considered for the second All-Star selection of his career. If you think Boston has enough to get that 18th championship, go ahead and smash that like button. At number three on our list, Bull Bull from the Phoenix Suns standing at seven feet, three inches tall. Over the last five seasons, NBA fans and media have been patiently waiting for Bol Bol to break out and become the star that his skill set has shown flashes of in the past. But unfortunately, it just hasn't happened yet. Last year, Bol had a stretch with the Orlando Magic that made it look like his time was finally here when he averaged nine points and six rebounds per game. This offseason, the free agent was picked up by the Phoenix Suns, but has yet to make any noise with them so far this year. Only time will tell if teams are finished giving Bol a chance to prove he can still contribute and stay consistent. If you're a fan of Bol and hope that he gets some more playing time with the Suns, go ahead and smash that like button. At number two on our list, 
Boban Marjanovic from the Houston Rockets, standing at seven feet, four inches tall. The Serbian big man has earned the attention and support of NBA fans for his amusing and fun character, but not much for his stats on the court. This season, he is part of the Houston Rockets after playing for the Dallas Mavericks a couple years ago and becoming good friends with Luka. Despite how much he is respected and liked by everyone whom he encounters, Mar Janovic has always had an issue in receiving playing time due to his lack of stamina or ability to play for long periods. He is currently in his second full season with the Houston Rockets, making rare appearances in blowout situations for less than seven minutes at a time. If he doesn't start getting more playing time soon, maybe he should call up John Wick asking for more appearances on the big screen. Finally, number one on our list. But first, if you have enjoyed this video so far, please do us a favor and hit that like button. The tallest player in the NBA right now, Victor Wembanyama from the San Antonio Spurs, standing at seven feet, four inches tall. It's been many years since the landing of a rookie in the NBA has caused so much excitement and expectation. Wimbanyama arrived in the NBA this year with a physique never seen before in the league. He gets the crown for the tallest player and his game is no joke. Seeing a player with his height dribble the ball with solid handles, shooting from long distance, creating his own shots with ease has been the most shocking thing about the Frenchman. Wembanyama has enjoyed some good performances so far this season, but the Spurs currently sit in last place in the Western Conference. Many believe that we could be looking at a player who will mark an era in the NBA like only a handful of other players have ever done. If you think Victor will eventually lead the Spurs back to the promised land, go ahead and smash that like button. All right, Hoops High fam, please leave us a comment on which of these five players is your favorite and will have the better year statistically. Also, please don't forget to join us tomorrow as we look at the top five heaviest players in the NBA as of right now. See you then.